Hello everyone! Today I'll show you the structure of the so-called skeleton of 3D objects. This is the basis of the basic that you as a future professional should know and understand when working with the geometry of 3D models. So let's begin. We have a point or vertex. When you add a second point, it forms a line. In the 3D world this is called an edge. If we add a third point and connect all the lines, we will get a closed shape called a face or polygon. I will explain the difference between them a little later. This is a 2D object, such as a star or square. To get a 3D object, we just need to connect the polygons to each other. Now let's take a look at how it works. Here our skeleton is arranged in parts. Vertex, H, Polygons and Faces. When polygons are connected, we get a 3D object. In the process of 3D modeling, polygons will be divided into faces, because more complex objects have more complex geometry. I want to emphasize that in most software you will see only polygons. But in fact, there is a bad side. It's like looking at a website page. You see a beautiful page, and the back side it can be a tons of code. Same with 3D software. Self-cut extends the ability to control geometry and give us access to faces. Consider this on a more complex 3D model. This is what polygons look like. These are large selected areas. Change the option to face and see small parts of the polygon. Subscribe to my channel and don't miss important details.